All right, welcome back to another episode of the KC Campbell podcast. KC Campbell with you, of course. We are pleased to be joined by Gage Kilowald of Rochester Adams High School. How's it going, man? It's going pretty good. Thank you for uh, having me here. Okay, so how has this year gone for you in, in track? Because here's the thing, and also in cross country overall, whoa, how, what has this year been like for you? Uh, this year has been really, really good. I'm happy to have a season. And uh, I don't know, just been having a lot of fun, fun with the guys. Uh, we've been working really hard. So yeah, it's been pretty good. Okay, so what's been the biggest challenge this year navigating all this, you know, with co- well, this COVID stuff? Uh, just like uncertainty, I'd say. Just not knowing if we'd have a season or which race. Like, I don't know, kind of every, every weekend, every race was sort of a blessing for us. Uh, so, yeah. How did you, you know, perform so far this year? What was the best thing, best thing that you accomplished? Uh, I'd probably say about two, two, three weeks ago, I, I ran a 417 in the 1600 meter. Uh, I think that was probably my best, my best race so far this year. Okay. So I know you're a senior this year. I know you've experienced a lot of things. Well, what's the biggest, weirdest thing that you've experienced so far this year? Like overall, you could be school, sports, whatever. Um, the weirdest thing or like, yeah, ah, uh, that's a tough one. Um, not, not really too sure. Nothing really, I guess, I guess like going in person, I guess that was sort of weird because we, we were online basically the whole year, then going in person and seeing everyone and I don't know, just everyone wearing masks and. It was all, it was pretty weird just going back in, in person, I'd say. Yeah. Um, so, so far this track season, I know, uh, you know, we're almost kind of, we're kind of almost to the finish line in a way. How do you think things are going in that area? Um, I'd say things are going like perfectly planned. Well, not perfect. Like, like I said, I ran 417 earlier this year. And I did that pretty early season. So I was really happy about that. And I, I, I was on track to do what I want to do. Uh, my main goals right now are that state meet. I think that's probably everyone's goal is to run fast at that state meet. And uh, I, I did just run in the Barnyard Invitational, which I'm sure a lot of people knew about. It was a pretty elite race and it was awesome to be at. Obviously, it didn't go my way. Uh, I was throwing a dice since it was my last day it was my first day out of quarantine, so I was throwing a dice on how my body re- would react coming off of COVID. So I didn't know. It wasn't a race I wanted to miss, so I just kind of I went for it, and I'm happy I did. I, I didn't want to have that, like, worriedness of, oh, like, oh, I didn't go to that race. I could have gone. So I don't know. Whatever happened, happened. I'm happy I went, though. Yeah. Um, and, and, and knowing that you're, you know, you're a senior this year, where do you plan on heading to college at? Yeah, uh, I'm going to be running for MSU for their cross country and track team. So Michigan State University. Uh, I'm looking really excited to run with the guys there. Yeah. And finally, last thing for you, what, um, what are you going to take away from this experience? Uh, and like, what experience exactly? Okay. Well, you're good. All right. We'll talk to you. Uh, we'll talk to you next time. All right. Talk to you next time.